Hello, this is Rook with Utah Sustainable Gardening. This is a Japanese Ioannimus. This is on a foreclosed property. And when I was doing my initial inspection of the property, I noticed it was covered with wasps. Not just every single common type I've seen paper wasps, I've seen black wasp I don't recognize, I've seen all sorts of little wasps. There might be a few native bees there too. It's not nearly as full as it was when I got here. I had to get the job done before I could go showing you what I found. Now, if you were to plant this plant in an area where you had a lot of insect problems, uh, assuming you don't call an insect problem wasp. And this would probably be providing plenty of food in the off season for when they're not munching on your bugs. Once things not in bloom, these wasps and any hornets about will be eating the aphids and caterpillars and anything else that's creepy crawly whether you actually want them or not. That's something to think about when you're doing your landscape design is to plant plants in that will bring in the predators. Until today I hadn't realized just how many of this would bring. I would recommend a little bit further from the house though. It's planted about a foot from the house and as you can see it covers over well you can't see it but at least six feet over from uh, where it was planted in front of the house and the garage so when you plant it plant it right this is rook talk to you later